this is Uday. In this video, I'm going to talk about digital legacy of Google accounts. I will start with a simple question. What happens to your Google accounts when you are no more in this world? Your entire data will be deleted when there is no activity for a certain period of time. That certain period of time could be 3 months, 6 months or 12 months. You can choose that. What if you don't want your entire data to be deleted? Instead, you want to give access, full or partial access to someone you trust. Because these days, Google account is not just for Gmail. We share a lot of information with Google. We keep a lot of memories like photos, videos, documents and a lot of secure information. So if you want to continue your digital legacy by giving full or partial access to someone you trust, you can do it by going through this simple Google settings. I will show you step by step instructions how to do it. Go to your Gmail. Click on your profile icon and click on manage your Google account. You will see privacy and personalization. Click on manage your data and privacy. Now you have to scroll down all the way down to find this make a plan for your digital legacy. Click on that. Click on start. You will see very simple instructions here. First you have to choose the inactivity period. Here the phone number is really really important because they will contact you when they are going to take a next step. Give your phone number, a valid phone number. You will also have to validate this by entering the code that you will receive on your phone number. Maybe you already have that in your Google account. And now go to the next step. You can add up to 10 people. Add email ID of the person that you trust. You can select one or more options here. Say you can select a drive so that only drive information will be shared with that person. Or you can select all. Go to next. Here you have to give the contact number of that person. There is a nice option here. Add a personal message. You can also leave some instructions here if you want. Enter the contact number and save. Any international valid phone number can be given there. I recommend giving two persons contact details here at least. Verify the email ID one more time. There is another option here auto reply when someone sends you an email. So this subject and message will go to them automatically. Go to the next step. This is the last step. If you want your data to be deleted then toggle that button there. Review your plan and confirm it. That's it. All set. You can come back to this settings anytime later and modify these details. The person whom you have given access will receive an email like this. Since we are talking about digital legacy, I want to quickly talk about few other things. Example you wanted to do the similar thing for your Facebook account. You can search online digital legacy. There is a org website for all this kind of digital legacy related matters. You will find a very useful information here and also you can find setup instructions here. And also you can do it for Apple if you are, are using an Apple product or if you have Apple accounts. And another important thing is GitHub. If you have a open source project in your GitHub account, 
I think it is really important to set a successor settings here. Go to your account and account tab. You will see this successor setting. Give access to someone who has GitHub account. Make it easy for your loved ones. Thanks for watching.